Okay, so we're here with Jason at Nobile. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Uh, yeah, we're having a really excited about Pianophonic, which we're showing at the show today. Um, fresh out of the workshop, um, available in September. Uh, this is our eight voice polyphonic wavetable and sample playback synthesizer. Uh, it's based on the idea of a piano, uh, which has three strings and a hammer. We have three oscillators and a sample with the hammer sample in it. So we um, set it up so you can kind of get piano-esque sounds and, and kind of piano sounds as well. Uh, so it could make a piano sound like anything and make anything sound like a piano. That's the sort of thinking behind it. Um, do you want to hear some? Yeah, some let's hear some sounds, yeah. I've got quite a small keyboard today, so <laughs> I have to use the octave switch. So that's the kind of the basic piano sound. And you can separate the, the actual sound of the piano, which is the wavetable, this sound, with the hammer. If I turn this, I just got a hammer sound on its own. Hmm. And then you can change the speed that it, that it morphs through the wavetable. I'll take the reverb down. So you can shorten the piano sound, you can stretch it, you can add more hammer, you can detune it. Oh, that's nice. Light your camera is exactly the same as um, polycinematic, fifth and sub octave. Excellent. So you can get some really kind of more uh, sort of ex extended piano sounds with it. Um, you can play it, you can change the start point, so you can play it forwards, like this. But you can also play it backwards. Oh, that's nice. And so it's a uh, wavetable based, right? Yeah, it's wavetable based. Uh, it's got 16 different uh, slots where you, you can have different presets and different wavetables. So at the moment it's, we're using the piano. Uh, that includes uh, multi-sampled wavetables across the keyboard. So from high sounds all the way down to low sounds, oh, yeah, wow. which you can barely hear. There you go. Um, it includes a hammer sound and the wavetables themselves in each preset. So 16 of those, but within each wavetable, you can have 256 waves in each wavetable that, that you can morph through. So, so that's the, the piano sound. And it's, a, it's quite a bright sound. It's like a... So it kind of can be like a housey piano or with a bit yeah. of reverb. You can make it more of a. I just add some reverb in. Stretch, stretch the sound out a bit. Put it down an octave. And we can boost the uh, envelope. So it's, that's the natural envelope there. We can negate that and just normalize it. So it's. Just one long sound. Oh, wow, that's cool. Emphasize the middle oscillator, because there's three oscillators. This switch here can emphasize or decrease or match the levels of them. And, and does that also work with the reverse function? Yes, the, the reverse function. So that's at the moment that's starting from the beginning of the wavetable. I can start from any point in the wavetable, like, say, in the middle so it's a softer sound. I can even go backwards into the start, like this. That's cool. So it's Excellent. standing backwards. So it plays the hammer first, then goes backwards through the wavetable. You can have that another one bites the dust. Exactly, reverse, uh, yeah. Piano drift. Uh, I won't do the rest of it, but yeah, you get the idea. That's fantastic. So that's, that's the piano-y bit of it. So we can take the piano and we can take it away from pianoness into a slightly different, into a different world.
But what we can also do is because there's three oscillators, we can assign a different sound to two of them, or the middle ones, because there's three. One, one's in the middle, and two are on the, the outside of the stereo field. So this could get a bit louder. I'll try, I'll try and manage it. Uh, but if I flick this to side, like that, then I can choose another sound. So let's try this one. So there we've got a kind of sync, sync wavetable sound yeah. that's blended in with the piano. And we can slow morph that slower, like that. that and we can even cool. overdrive it, so we can take away the original envelope of the piano and we can start to distort it like that. So you can get some really fat sounds. Um, and also, kind of like polycinematic, it's got a chord memory. So we can stack up different sounds, like uh, say this. If I press that, it assigns it to the to the main key. That's really cool. Uh, it's also got chord memories like polycinematic, so you can assign eight different chords into it, play those back through CV control. So although you've got the MIDI going in, you can play it like a piano or a, or a regular wavetable synth. Um, you can also control it. Uh, with a with a gate in, and it even has a gate out as well. So when I play through MIDI, I can fire off an envelope shaper in my rack and put it through another filter. So it's pianophonic is also paraphonic. You can create it like a paraphonic synthesizer. Eight voices going through into one triggered filter, envelope shaper, whatever you want to do. Excellent. And um, is it out now? It's coming out in September. At the moment, we're just um, working on the sound library still. Uh, there's still loads more sounds you want to put into it. More pianos and uh, guitar sounds, loads of synth sounds, vintage synth sounds. Um, and yeah, and just a few. We, we, we're kind of showing it here just to, to speak to some of our, uh, some of our Nobula users, see what they think of it. And we could just sort of tweak the software for the September release. Excellent. Um, yes. And what sort of price point are you looking uh, at with three, it? Before tax, 350 pounds, 400 euros. $440 or thereabouts. Excellent. Um, 12 HP and um, fully stereo. Yeah. Great. Well, thank it's you coming. so much for showing us that, Jason. Really appreciate it. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks very much.